Join me as I dig deep into the disturbing truth about subliminal messages and see if I can uncover what they really do to our minds. Subliminal messages have been a topic of fascination and controversy for decades. The idea that our minds can be influenced by hidden messages in advertisements, films, and even music is both captivating and unsettling. Today, we're going to explore the history of subliminal messaging, its implications, and some surprising examples that will leave you wondering what's really going on beneath the surface. The use of subliminal messages has long been shrouded in controversy, with many critics arguing that they're unethical and manipulative. After all, if our minds can be influenced without our conscious knowledge, where does that leave our free will? The potential effects on audiences are far-reaching, from influencing consumer choices to shaping our political beliefs. It's a topic that raises important questions about the responsibility of creators and the vulnerability of consumers. One of the most significant concerns surrounding subliminal messages is their potential impact on our subconscious mind. If we're not even aware that we're being influenced, how can we possibly make informed decisions? The fact that subliminal messages can bypass our critical thinking skills is in itself a cause for concern. The idea that our minds are constantly being manipulated, often for financial gain or ideological purposes, is a disturbing thought. Furthermore, the use of subliminal messages in advertising and marketing raises important ethical questions. Are companies using these tactics to exploit our vulnerabilities or are they simply trying to get our attention in a crowded market? Either way, it's clear that subliminal messaging has the potential to be incredibly powerful, and the power needs to be wielded responsibly. As we delve deeper into the world of subliminal messaging, it's clear that the line between influence and manipulation is thin and often blurred. It's our responsibility to be aware of these tactics and to think critically about the information we're presented with. Subliminal messages have been used in advertising and marketing for decades, often with surprising results. From flashing images of popcorn in movie theaters to hidden messages in popular songs, these tactics have been employed to influence our behavior and shape our desires. One famous example is the alleged use of subliminal messages in the film The Exorcist, where the word Pazuzu was flashed on screen for a split second, reportedly increasing the film's shock value and emotional impact. Another example is the use of subliminal messaging in music. Bands like The Beatles and Led Zeppelin have been accused of hiding satanic messages in their songs, sparking controversy and debate among fans. While these claims are often exaggerated or disproven, they highlight the power of subliminal messaging to shape our perceptions and influence our behavior. The use of subliminal messages in advertising is another area where these tactics have been employed to great effect. From flashing images of products to hidden messages and slogans, companies have used subliminal messaging to influence consumer choices and create brand loyalty. One famous example is the use of the phrase 57 varieties by Heinz, which was reportedly designed to subliminally influence consumers to associate the brand with abundance and variety. Recent studies have shed new light on the efficacy of subliminal messages, highlighting their potential to influence our behavior and shape our decisions. One study found that subliminal messages can increase cravings for certain products, while another revealed that they can even influence our political beliefs. These findings are both fascinating and unsettling, highlighting the power of subliminal messaging to shape our thoughts and actions. These discoveries have significant implications for our understanding of advertising, marketing, and even politics. If subliminal messages can influence our decisions and shape our beliefs, what does that mean for our democracy and our freedom of choice? These are questions that we need to be asking ourselves, and they highlight the importance of being aware of these tactics in our daily lives. As we wrap up our exploration of subliminal messages, it's clear that this topic is far more complex and nuanced than we initially thought. From their historical significance to their ethical implications, subliminal messages have the potential to both fascinate and disturb us. By being aware of these tactics, 
we can take back control of our minds and make more informed decisions about the information we consume. So, what do you think about subliminal messages? Have you ever noticed them in advertising or media? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to check out my next video.